Hey guys, what's up? It's K7 here, and I'm bringing you guys yet another tutorial. Before I start this, this is just a update video to one of the older ones. So for all you guys who are already seen this, you can just go uh, away or go to another video or go somewhere else or something like that. But this is just an updated video for those who were having problems with the older video, and I'm updating it. I have a few more videos to update, by the way. So that's what will be coming up on the channel before I get to those new tutorials. For those who are expecting those 3DS custom firmware and other stuff like VR chat and Blender. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you guys how to convert a Citra playable 3DS file into a CIA. And I'm going to be showing you some of the errors that you may get from the converter when you're trying to convert. Like when you get file doesn't exist or etc. like that. Uh, I could show you like what it does when you don't have a legitimate CIA, but I don't have any not legitimate CIA. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to get the error, but I will show you why it says file doesn't exist. So you won't have that problem anymore. And yeah, so anyway, uh, let's hop right into the video and let's get some 3DS Citra playable files converted into CIAs successfully. Stay tuned. All right, as you can see here, I've got my converter open and I have a copy of PK3DS here. And we're going to convert it from a Citra playable to a CIA and we'll do it successfully. But first, I'm going to show you guys what happens when you try to convert it and it's not in the right place. It's recommended that you have this on the desktop, which is the C drive, you know, like in the documents or something like that. But if you don't have it in documents, well, you're going to see when I start to convert it. So I'll show you guys the error message first. Then I'll move on to show you guys how to successfully convert it from a Citra playable file to a CIA. So first you want to click and open the program. Once you do that, you then want to hit three and then three again. This will get you to the settings that you need converting a 3DS Citra to a CIA. So first, once it opens, when you get to this part, you want to copy and paste the whole name of the game of whatever you're trying to convert. So make sure you do that. So I'm going to place this in there and then I'm going to hit enter and we're going to try to convert this and we're going to get that error message. Then I'll tell you why I'm getting that error message. All right, let's let's start it up. Hit no if you get this message here. Hit no. So hit in and then press enter and continue. And see, as you can see, it'll tell me it's failed. I didn't get the file doesn't exist, but it tells me that it's failed because, well, it doesn't read it because it's not in the C drive. But now I'm going to show you guys what it does when it's in the C drive and it reads it. So you guys can know to put it into the C drive each and every time or you're going to always get that error message. You're going to either get a failed or you're going to get the file doesn't exist. But anyway, so let's go do that. Hey guys, what's up? Future Kai here. Keep in mind when you're converting, make sure not to touch anything until it's finished, whatever, 10, 15 minutes, depending on however long that your game will be. The PK3DS will be a lot shorter, so it'll convert quicker. If the game is small, smaller, it'll convert quicker. But don't touch anything until it's done, because if you do, this could mess up the converting process. So just leave it alone. Let it stay still once it's converting. All right, Future Kai out. Now, as you can see, it completely successfully built my, my 3DS Citra playable file from a 3DS file to a CIA successfully when I put it on when I put it onto the desktop. So put it onto the C drive, put it in your documents folder, but as long as it's in your main drive, you won't have these issues anymore. So now when we look back in our main converter folder, as you can see, we now have a completed 3DS CIA. Well, okay, that pretty much wraps things up for this video. I hope this video helped you guys. Anyways, this is an update video for the old videos, but I hope it helped you guys anyways and gets your 3DS converting issues out of the way. If you have any questions, leave those comments down below in the comment section and I'll get to them when I can. I usually 
am able to, but if I can't somehow, you could reach me over there in the new community tab. So check out the community tabs, guys. The link will be in the description down below, and all the other links that you need will also be down below in the description as well. Well, anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Until next time, this has been K7. Enjoy converting. See you guys next time. Later.